Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're here in the F-14 Tomcat. We're here once again practicing our BFM skills. A little bit of guns only, because that's, uh, in my opinion, one of the best ways to train your understanding of BFM. Uh, today we're gonna have all kinds of bandits uh, who can come against us. Uh, looks like this one is kind of gonna be a bandit unknown kind of situation. Uh, this guy looks like a flanker. It's like a Sukhoi 27, so I'm going to do a little bit of a split S here, and he is trying to force that one circle fight. I obviously would like the two circle. One of the beautiful things about the Tomcat is that it'll give you just about anything you ask for, as long as it has the energy, and it'll quite literally tear itself apart for you as the pilot, right? So the F-14 is a very loyal aircraft, is how I like to think of it. Uh, you see us here uh, chasing the tail of the flanker. This is how we want to force the two-circle fight. We also don't want to do any HUD BFM by pulling him into the HUD whenever possible. Although I may have the energy, it might not be the right situation. When I pull him into the HUD, I'm creating opportunities for him to reverse his turn and, you know, all kinds of stuff, which I don't want to do. In a two-circle fight, I want to constantly chase at 6 o'clock, as you see me doing here. He drops the nose, I'm going to pull the nose up, and I'm just going to constantly fly to where he can't go. My objective is to get up behind him in a low-aspect situation and score a nice easy kill. Um, and he's obviously trying to avoid that. He's constantly trying to force that one-circle fight which here he is doing once again. I'm going to climb again over his nose. This eventually gets very frustrating. If you do it properly, the guy in front of you being forced into a two circle is going to find this very frustrating. And in order to do these two circle fights, you need speed, of course and I would say never get slower than about 350 knots. Uh, pulled him into the HUD there, but didn't manage to get a shot. He reversed the turn. I'm gonna pull the AB out, and we might be able to score a kill right here. I just gotta keep him out in front. I'm a little close to him, which is a little bit worrying. I would have liked a little bit more separation. But look at this, I've got his six, and as long as I can control my closure, uh, let's try it. Take a shot here. Yeah. Oh, that actually hit him. <laughs> that was weird because the reticle wasn't on him, but I, just, I guess I just wasn't seeing the angles correctly. But that was awesome. A little burst, just a little zip, and he's dead. Very satisfying. Uh, I love that kind of kill. What was that, like five or six rounds? <laughs> this is the most efficient kill I think I've ever done at DCS. Splash one flanker. These uh, kind of banded unknown situations are, uh, in my opinion, very good for the BFM because because you have to memorize what the other aircraft is that the bandit is good at, and you do the opposite. Um, so it's very good. Like you got to improvise, adapt, overcome. You know that whole thing. Uh, we got an F-16 here, so I'll be forcing the one circle into the merge here. And uh, oh, I did it wrong. We're gonna go vertical and try to reverse into a one circle. So this mistake here, my inability to decisively force a one circle is gonna cost me a gunshot here, there you go. So we have to defeat that gun wes, and I'm gonna try to dodge it here once again. Don't give him a clean shot. And unfortunately, I am defensive. We're gonna have to turn this around from here.
and when you're fighting the F-16 and you're trying to force one circles, it has to be quick. The longer the F-16 sits on your six, it's like a viper or like a, you know, a python, I guess, going around you and like constricting you and constantly getting tighter and tighter. By the time you're on the deck against him, uh, you know, he's basically crushing your ribcage and you're going to die. Uh, we're going to reverse the turn here. Create some more aspect. Hopefully force a one circle from here. Good, 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 good. There he goes. He's getting slow, which is perfect for me. Avoid his notes here. Great. And we'll roll over top, and he's actually in trouble here. He's actually in trouble here. Yes, splash one F-16. <laughs> I'm lucky that worked out. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's some um, one circle fighting in the F-14 against the F-16. You know, something a little different. We don't often see the Tomcat do one circle. Alright, let's do one more round here, and it looks like we have another flanker. Is that a flanker? Yeah. Yeah, that's another flanker. Okay. So, we're doing two circle again. Although, I think this one's, uh... What is this? Uh, that's a Chinese J-15. We're headed into the vertical here. The J-15 is uh, obviously very similar to a flanker. It has a little bit more stability at slow speeds because of the canards. At least that's how it feels to me. Uh, very good in a Fox 2 fight, but she's a little fat compared to the normal Su-27 flanker. She's a little bit fatter. Uh, so it can be a little bit harder, especially in this kind of fight. The Tomcat is going to absolutely whip them, and it won't even struggle. There's some FPS drops there, part of the uh, DCS 2.9 update, I guess. I don't know. Um, pretty good update, by the way. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, but we're pretty happy with it. The radio effects that we're using in the last couple videos, guys, it's a work in progress. <laughs> we're learning. ED's learning. We're learning how to edit it. You know, it's going to be a bit of a learning process until it's something perfect, you know? So just bear with us there. Um, although I see a lot of you enjoying it in the comment section. So um, again, forcing that two circle fight with this flanker here, just nice and patient. It's actually kind of a relaxing fight when you get used to it. Uh, not for the other guy though, he's fighting for his life. You see him reversing the turn here. That's gonna be a mistake. I'm not gonna pull him into the HUD there. That would have been problematic. He probably, if I hadn't killed him, he would have reversed the turn. He would have neutralized there. Why, why would I take such a risk if I don't have to, right? I'll just keep fighting until I have him in a perfect situation where I can kill him and miss and I can try to shoot at him and miss and shoot at him and miss and he can't neutralize from there. And I can shoot him as many times as it takes until he's dead. Which is kind of the situation that's developing here. Let's pull him into the HUD. Let me walk these tracers on. There we go, splash one. Splash one Chinese J-15. The Tomcat is an absolute gunslinger, man. I love this thing. God, she's so beautiful, the Tomcat. 